Okay, so you were probably very familiar with the business growing up, even as a child, when your dad had it. What's some of the things that you will absolutely always hold on to as far as traditions and values with your business? Well, trying to speak to everybody. Uh, I guess that's probably the biggest thing I saw my father do is, uh, is try to treat everybody fairly and, and, and try to get to know them. Mm -hmm. And also your employees, because you have some employees that have been with you for years. I'd say probably half of them were here when dad, or daddy hired uh, in, the, in the 70s. Uh, some of them are newer. They're, that's something I've been blessed with. There's been very little turnover. Okay. Well, I'm going to go chat with Rhonda a little bit because I know you're really busy. I'm going to go chat with her because uh, her mother actually worked for yes. Babe Ball before your dad bought it. Yes, that's right. Okay, then I'll catch up with you just a little bit later. Okay. Okay, I am here with the office manager as well as a friend of mine, Rhonda Masoner. So tell us about the very beginning. It was started in 1957? It started in 1957 with Mr. Babe Ball. Mm -hmm. And he started the store then, and then it came up that Bud was a friend of his, of course, and he bought the store from him. So then, of course, Buddy, when he started growing up, he was working here, and uh, then Buddy bought the store from his dad in 1993. So from 1957, we've only had three owners. That's right, just three. And it's been a, a lot of progress, but still a lot of the same old traditions. So what's been some of the ways or some of the traditions that you all have felt is imperative to hold on to about the way you treat your customers? Well, first off, our customers are not just our customers. They're our patients, they're our friends, they're our family. They're people that, you know, we go to church with and we've grown up with their kids and, and their kids come in here and do business and even their kids. So it's just a tradition throughout time. You know, we're just involved with the community and the activities of a family. Everything's family oriented. And delivery has been a, an important part of that, especially for your seniors. Yes, we do deliver to an awful lot of senior people, especially shut-ins and things like that. A lot of times that the customers we go deliver to, we're the only people they see. Okay, I caught back up with Buddy, and um, we were talking earlier, Buddy, about when it's important and time to know exactly when to make the advances in a business. And I understand that you were one of the first people that had computers. Yeah. Late March of 1982, we put the first computer in. It was as big as a refrigerator. But uh, it, you know, since then a lot of things have changed. We've upgraded computers. Um, we've pretty much stayed with the same system. Uh, they've up. They, the company we use, it's one of those things too. They're small enough that you can call a programmer and talk to them, but they're big enough to have six or eight hundred users. It's, that's a happy mix. You don't want them too big and you don't want them too small. And that's kind of the way I look at our business too. And they're constantly updating this system. So we're always looking at not leaving the piece of hardware, updating it and updating the software in it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other things we've done over the years, uh, we had to put a signature capture machine in. In the future, we're always looking for things. I, I'm eventually probably going to have to do that for the delivery truck. Uh, it'll be some kind of electronic uh, signature capture for them. Okay, well there you have it. Crescent Center Drug has truly mastered the balance of traditions and values as well as progress here in the Marstown area. Thanks, buddy, for letting us stop in again. Thank you.